สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. Today I'm making a dish called La p l a Salmon, which is essentially a salmon tartare but with lap flavor. Now, if you don't know what lap is, it's a type of Thai salad, super spicy and tart and delicious, that comes from the northeast of Thailand. And I've been wanting to do this recipe for a long time because I can just imagine the flavor of lap going so well with raw salmon, like sashimi style. Oh, And I was right; it is so delicious and super easy to make. So let's get started. So the most important ingredient of lap is khao kua or toasted rice powder. Okay, so I've made this a few times, but as a quick review, I've got here some sticky rice, un untoasted, uncooked. You can also do this with jasmine rice. But now I'm going to flavor my toasted rice powder with some kefir lime leaves. You can flavor your toasted rice with. Lemongrass with galangal. Now I'm just gonna toast this. Medium high heat is fine, and you start to notice the rice starting to pop. So keep the rice moving because you want the toasting to be even on the grains. And yes, there will be quite a bit of smoking. That's totally normal. All right. So this is the color that you want it to be, and the lime leaves have crisped up. So I'm gonna grind the leaves right with the rice. Now this is way more than I need for this recipe, but. You can make this in advance, not too long in advance, but you don't want to grind it until you're ready to use it. All right? Perfect. Oh, that smell! Ooh, nutty and citrusy. This is why I love lap so much. All right, let's make the lap dressing first. And lap dressing is the simplest dressing in the world. There are two main ingredients: that is fish sauce, of course. And lime juice, always fresh. Now, because the salmon is so delicate in flavor, and I'm not planning to serve this with sticky rice or anything, I'm actually gonna dilute this a little bit with water. I find if I don't, it's it's a bit too strong. Chilies. Lap always uses roasted chili flakes, which gives a nice smoky flavor. And I also put kefir lime leaves into. The chili flakes when I made it. I'm gonna put some finely, finely chopped lemongrass. And when you put lemongrass in salad, you want to make sure it's sliced as thinly as possible because otherwise it's a bit tough and fibrous. And I'm gonna let the lemongrass sort of sit in the dressing while I do other things, so that the flavor of the lemongrass sort of infuses into the dressing a little bit. And one last thing, and this is my own little twist, I like to actually grate some fresh garlic into it. Yeah, and it just add a little pungence, a little spiciness of raw garlic, a little bite. Now, I would normally use my microplane so I get it super fine, but I forgot it, so this will have to do. That did not come out at all. <laughs> There we go. And that's it. How simple is that? Check out this beautiful piece of salmon. Now I'm gonna slice this. So I said tartar, but since I'm slicing it, I guess it's more like a carpaccio. But you could cube it up and turn it into tartar if you want. So I just want thin, thin slices. And so a sharp knife is very important for this. So the way I like to plate this, I want to just lay it all flat, and I'm not systematic about it. I'm just kind of putting it down randomly and filling the gaps. So the last thing I want to do is chop up my delicate herbs, of which there are many in this recipe. So mint, super super important herb in lap, and mint is actually not used much in Thai cuisine. And when it is used, it's usually used in northeastern dishes. Ah, oh, smells so fresh. And then cilantro. Now I would have used sawtooth coriander if I could have found some, but I didn't. So cilantro will work just fine. And yes, chop up the stems along with it, people. Don't throw away cilantro stems; they're so aromatic. The number of times I see people pick off the leaves and throw away the stems makes my heart cry. Now green onions, of course. Cilantro and green onions to us are like twins. They're oh, they're. Often used together, especially in salads. Now I'm gonna divide the bottom half just because this can be quite pungent, especially if you got those fat ones. You definitely want to have those. And when you chop herbs, make sure your knife is sharp, people. If you chop the herbs and you take the herbs away and you see green juice all over your board, your knife is not sharp enough, and you're losing all that flavor to your cutting board. 
Now, finally, this is my own little trick. I am adding what we call Lao coriander. And so Pak Chi Lao is what we call in Thai. And that is basically dill. Now, dill is used in the northeastern part of Thailand and it's close to Lao. That's why we call it Lao coriander. And dill goes so well with salmon, right? Like it's a classic combination. So I just like to add just a little bit. All right, time to assemble. So a couple more things, some red onions that are thinly, thinly sliced. Now, traditionally we use shallots, but I love the color pop on red onions. It's a little sweet, it works just as well. And again, just for color, completely optional here. I happen to have a red bell pepper in the fridge. I'm throwing it in because it's just so pretty. With mini tongs, give that a mix. The dressing is gonna go in. Oh, before, before I put the dressing in, I have to put my toasted rice powder in my dressing. And again, you don't wanna put toasted rice powder way at the beginning because it'll start absorbing the liquid and then turns, you know, a little bit gummy. Magic powder right here, people. Now that gets tossed with the herbs. I'm saving a little bit at the end because I might need a final drizzle on the fish. In goes right on the salmon. I'm salivating already, that smell! <laughs> oh my god. The rest of the dressing I am pouring over the edges so that all the fish is covered. Dill sprig around the edges. Et voila! Very pretty. So this is perfect straight up, but if you are like me and you like to eat everything with rice, you can eat it with rice. I've done that and it's just as good, so it's completely up to you how you want to serve it. Oh, it's so good. It's spicy and herbaceous. You can really taste all the different herbs we put in there. Tart from the lime juice, but at the same time, it's light enough that it still sort of respects the flavor of the salmon. And the texture of the salmon, it's soft, it's silky, a little fatty, just everything works so well together. And that toasted rice powder, I am telling you, if you've never used toasted rice powder before, give it a try and I promise you're gonna wanna put it on everything. It's so, so good. So I hope you give it a try. It's super easy. What a fresh, beautiful dish to serve at a party as an appetizer, right? I mean, that's something you'd pay a lot of money for at a restaurant. So the recipe, as always, will be on hotthaikitchen.com. When you make it, send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And if you haven't subscribed to the show, please do so right here. And I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal. You should puff you. Puff your head. There you are. Oh, you gotta practice your swing with. I can't! That's a terrible swing. <laughs>